Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and we are doing a beautiful live painting class right now, and we are doing the Courtly Check Sunflower. So here is the model in the back, and then I've got my traceable, and I've got my canvas underneath. I've got a little bit of a head start, so I went ahead and did this earlier today uh, so that I wouldn't take up so much of the class time just having you watch the back of me draw. <laughs> so, um, so basically, this is what I've got done, but I wanna show you how this lays out on here. So this is the traceable that is definitely available for you in a digital format on our website that you can just download or you can have it mailed to you with graphite paper. And um, we do this little kit with instructions and everything. And then we also have the big painting kit. So it has everything. So it has the template kits and the graphite paper and the canvas and the paints and the brushes and all that happy, wonderful stuff. Okay, so I just take simple scotch tape and I just put them right together. And then I place it over the top of the uh, canvas and then I use a different colored pencil so that I can see where I've been that will definitely help make the process a lot easier and I basically just trace over the top and then I think it helps uh, just to keep your hand steady to go ahead and use a ruler or two as a backup not necessary but I definitely think it helps to keep these lines really nice and, and sharp and straight uh, so that's a good little helpful hint and I'm gonna go ahead and lift this off here so, and the graphite paper is definitely reusable. This is um, my second time to use it. I used, um, I'm not exactly sure how many uses you can get out of graphite paper, but I know you can use it several times. And so like this is my second time and it worked just fine here. And it is a really light pencil trace, a lot of forgiveness. So if you do happen to uh, somehow get a little bit off track or different, you know, have it a little bit here and there. You can take an eraser and kind of clean up a little bit. It's just graphite, so easy to clean up. So real simple and easy there. That's our transfer. And then what I like to do, especially for this, I want, I want to go ahead and do a nice firm uh, black line. So I've got a Sharpie nearby. This is optional, not necessary. And you can certainly um, have a softer look. A lot of people prefer that. So I always want to tell you about options on that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Sharpie work. And I am going to use the ruler just to make sure that it's nice and uh, tight here. So I'll go ahead and do my line work. And this will be, I went ahead and just did a, a courtly check pattern on this one. You can do a buffalo check if you want, which is a mix of three colors which would be gray, black, and white. Um, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Actually, let's put that down a little bit. I have to kind of position the ruler just slightly underneath. <laughs> and then, all good. All right, so here we go. We're getting it. And then I'm gonna to have to continue doing this. I'm done with my ruler. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do my black outline all the way around. And now let's do petals. And we do have all the line work done for the petals. If you are using a template, then I always encourage you to do the curves of every other petal. Work on doing that in the foreground first. So foreground is what comes closer to you. And then, so I do one in front, and then I do one behind. But instead of working on trying to keep up with the every other one, I think it's easier to just go ahead and work out you can just kind of do every other one in front. So that's kind of up to you. Either way, whatever is easiest for your brain. I went ahead and did my trace ahead of time. So I've got it all worked out in advance. 
And you can kind of turn this a little bit too. We're gonna to turn it here in a second to make the rest of this much easier to get to. So let's do a little turn. And then turn. Fabulous, so now we are done. I wanna make sure, yeah, y'all can still see that well. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure that in terms of all the painting, anything that's really dark, like all the black work, all the outline work, that is the very last thing that I do. I wanna do all of our really pretty light, bright colors um, at the very beginning so that they do not become interrupted uh, by any of the black. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that light color out of the way first. So I've got my white, I've got my gold, and I've got my bright primary yellow. And again, I'm saving the black till the very end. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my mama brush. So here's mama. And I'm gonna go ahead and push into this bright primary yellow. And let's do a little tiny touch of that gold too. I'm just gonna push the two of those together. I can also push into just a little bit of white as well. And that also really helps brighten it up quite a bit. Helps it cover really well on the canvas too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and initially I wanna go ahead and start by using the line edge of the brush. So I do hold it like a pencil, that's the hold. And that gives me a lot more control. So I'll go ahead and place that around that petal. And then I wanna go ahead and just fill into the space there. And I'm just doing my color blocking right now. So I don't worry about too much detail initially. I will come back in with some really pretty accents over the top of each little petal. So you will love this painting because it is very, very easy. All right, so just keep working this in. Now when we go to fill in more of the petal, I wanna go ahead and shift a little bit to the side of the brush. So I hold it toward the flat side of the brush, faces the canvas. So like this. So you can do the line edge initially and then go ahead and turn it parallel to the canvas to go ahead and fill into that space. going to keep pushing into a little bit of the gold too in the beginning and then that will help push in a nice little bit of extra color into those little petals. Grab a little more white, and again, yellow, white, and a little bit of gold. Okay, so now we can have a little bit of fun with the accents that come in over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mama brush into the water and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my little bit brush here and I'm gonna do a little touch of white. 
So just a dry brush or just barely moist, no excess water in the brush. And then I just go ahead and do a nice little accent of color. into each one of these little petals here. So just a little white highlight right over the top. really pretty you can also do little touches of the gold too so I've got my little bit my little bit brush same thing so just barely touch into this gold here and you can line it a little bit so that it's not too stark over the top and then we'll try just little touches of that too so that's also really pretty in here nice little accent So it's just like one little stroke here and it kind of feels like you make a parentheses. quite beautiful um, and I do still have a darker outline that I can push in over the top later that's an optional thing but now I'm ready to go ahead and push into my beautiful courtly check in the center and I'm going to start with the light first uh, so basically we have just a really soft soft antique white to begin with so I've got my mama brush and what I do to make this antique white is I just barely touch into the gold. I mean, a super, super tiny amount. And I'm gonna push into the white. And then that will give me a very light antique white. So it is just slightly different than the white. All right, and I wanna go ahead and do, just for ease of mind with this. Let's do a little bit of planning so that we can just map this out. And I recommend that you do this at home too. So basically what we'll do is we'll say, we'll just start here. So this will be black and then black and then black right there. Um, and you know what? Just to be a good role model, do this with a pencil. <laughs> so that way you won't have to worry if you happen to go, oops, and do the wrong thing. So, all right, so we have black here, and then we have black here, because we want to alternate each one. So they have black, and then black, and then black there. All right, now, so now we can just uh, relax a little bit. Let's go back to our antique white and our mama brush. And you can also, I'm going to be probably switching gears between my little buddy brush and the mama brush. Both of those are going to be really great tools. So I'll work in this antique white first. Because again, I said earlier, we want, we want to always start with the light first. Let's leave the black till the very end. So we have that really pretty cream color at the very beginning. If you want it to be super easy, you could just leave it white, but we want it to be, I'm gonna have a little bit of texture to it. So it does have that really pretty texture and just a slight warmth to the shade with the cream. So I'll paint into all those little squares. And I can be a little bit, honestly, you know, loose and free, uh, just, a, you know, not too uptight about it because it is so light. Now, when it comes down to the black, then I'm gonna have to tighten up quite a bit and make sure that I'm very tidy with all those lines. All 
right, so we have our beautiful cream now. So that's wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this into the water. Now, I'm going to switch over to my little buddy brush and I'll be using Little Bit and Little Buddy to get all the detail work done now. So I'm going to be using Little Buddy first and just pure black paint, so no mixing on this. And I wanna go ahead and do a little push here. And I don't add any water to the mix. However, if you do need to, just to make it a little bit more fluid, then what I recommend is that you place the pattern or the canvas rather flat on a surface. Anytime you work with water, always make sure that canvas is flat so that you don't get water runs. So you have to be kind of careful about that. And something else here too, if you do need a little help from your ruler and you wanna use that as a straight edge to do line work against while you paint, certainly allowed and doable as a little technique. However, every single time you move the ruler after painting against it, you'll just have to make sure that you completely clean it up. Be very thorough about that so that you don't get black markings in the wrong spot on your canvas. So that's the only tricky part with using a ruler. Some of these little corners. I might be able to get in there. I think I can. In case I can't or if you don't feel comfortable with it, remember a little bit. Hold on, let me give you a little example. So. Let's just do this one little section with a little bit so you can just see how you can get a lot more precision into those tiny little areas with your little bit brush. And the basic hold is just like holding a pencil. And then take note of how I'm um, using my pinky to kind of help brace my hand. So I just rest the weight of my hand on my pinky and then that allows me to get into those smaller areas. The rest of it's pretty easy with a bigger square, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my little buddy. And I like to start, you can do the line work first. Let this line edge of the brush, so I'll do a lot of pressure on the brush when I fill it. Check your edge, see how it's still really nice and thin on the end? So let that line work for you. And then you can just kind of fill into the section, just back and forth. Howdy! You're having a hard time finding my color wheel on the website. Um, you know what? You're having a hard time finding my color wheel because I don't have a color wheel on the website. <laughs> so that makes so much sense. But I'll do that for you. I'll put a color wheel on the website. Right now I have, what I do have on the website is a color guide on how, uh, basically how to mix everything. I do have that, um, but I'm actually doing a lot of website work this week to get it very organized. So I will fix that for you. And I'll tell you, there is underneath the top heading where it says paint kits in the sub menu under that, and I'll put notes on, on here too in writing, uh, but underneath that, there's a, a page called Supplies. And right now, that's where I have the color mixes. But I'll make sure that that's very thorough. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, but I'll, I'll tighten up. Here's what I'll do. After this class is done, I'll put that link in the notes here under comments, and then that way you can find it really easily. Because it is kind of a, it's a page that's a little hard to see. So I'll just give you the link. That'll be really easy. And you know, I'll just, um, I'll put a color wheel on there too. That's a good idea. It's a great idea. All right. 
side. And then just push it back and forth here. Now the black might not, oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, and the black might be a little transparent first round, so don't be surprised if maybe you have to do a second coat just to kind of help fill in, make sure it's got plenty of texture over the top. Almost done, so exciting. All right, so this is really pretty. And remember, you can always come back in with just a few little swipes of a second coat here. You wanna make sure that you definitely hold that brush parallel to the canvas. That'll give you the right hold to give you a gentle hand and to allow more of that paint to just gently rest on the surface. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do all the line work around the edges. And you can use either Little Buddy or Mama work really well for this. So definitely let that line edge work for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way around. And to make sure that your line is still really thin, you wanna, as you keep loading with the brush and pressing, give some firm pressure and then check your end again. You can see how thin mine is. So just keep doing that. an added little outline here really makes these more defined and just kind of pops right out over the surface it is optional though so if you just prefer the softer look you don't have to do the outline on this but I think it blends well with since you have all this black with the courtly check already in that pattern to me it works well with the style since it's already pretty much in place. I think it's a nice look. And then watch what I just did. I was talking, not paying attention. As you come back in with those petals, sometimes you can go right back into the center of your flower, so. Oops, and be careful. <laughs> but as I say, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. And this shape is a lot like making a parentheses. So tell your brain that that's something you want to try to do in your painting. If it, something becomes a little bit challenging, I always try to connect it to a simple command that the brain easily understands that we do all the time in just normal life outside of painting. So nobody feels intimidated about making a parentheses. 
and then just extend that message to your hand <laughs> and then it all works. And there we go. Oh my gosh. We're actually done. This is a really fun, easy, easy, easy painting. All right. So again, this is our courtly check sunflower. So very beautiful, very easy. We have everything that you need on our website, just tipsyartist.com. And I'll leave the link below. Uh, but yeah, we have beautiful paints. And then the canvas, the traceable, we've got the template option. Um, also, we've got brushes for you, lots of brushes on our website. And then of course the kit has everything that you need. Let me give you a visual on the traceable too, because sometimes this is still kind of new to a lot of people, but definitely very easy to use. And it comes with the graphite paper. And so you basically just place it over the top. And I have this at the front end too. And uh, just come in with a different color. And then you can see every place you've been. <laughs> All right, so here we go, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Y'all are awesome. Y'all have a beautiful rest of the day. And I will see y'all soon with more lives.